Hello and welcome to NWR Live. This is our special report. I'm Preeksha with you. Multiple scam tainted Congress gets another nail in the coffin with now Congress chief Sonia Gandhi and Rahul Gandhi. They both have been asked to appear in a Delhi court on August 7th in a case that accuses them of cheating and criminal breach of trust. That is the Gandhi's and the National Herald scam. I have Mr. Venkatesh Ramachandran from Chennai with me. He's a chartered accountant and economic columnist joining me on the show. Welcome to the show, sir. Mm, good afternoon. Tell me. Sir, uh, this whole uh, scam that has come out, it has been in news but not been talked about for a really long time. Yeah. Now, Mr. Swami, when he filed a case against them and now the court has asked that the, the Gandhis to appear in court because there is prime facie evidence regarding that. Yeah. The money in the house invested in another company coming back to another company which is owned by the Gandhis itself. Mm. This is a scam which is running in the family itself, misutilizing the public funds. Yeah. See, the whole thing is, uh, uh, by and large, Indian media has been very, very skeptical about putting uh, uh, the Gandhis under the microscope. Mm -hmm. And that allows them uh, to do most uh, of uh, uh, the transactions mm -hmm. without any let or fear of uh, scrutiny mm -hmm. by the media. Mm -hmm. But this case, I'm very happy to say that uh, Mr. Swami took it up personally. Mm -hmm. And uh, he did bring about the whole case in a very beautiful manner and explained to the judge. I think it was more than 10 uh, hearings. Mm. Went on before uh, the learned magistrate ordered uh, that the accused must be produced, uh, must, uh, uh, must present themselves before her. Mm. So to this extent, this is a very extensively researched uh, case. And this case in a nutshell is uh, like this. See, the Congress party uh, being a political entity is not allowed under the People's Representation Act hmm. to partake in any commercial transaction. Right. So the first breach was when the Congress party gives an interest-free loan of 90 crores hmm. to a company called Associated Journal. Hmm. Now that is breach number one. Hmm. Breach number two is after having given this 90 crores, the Congress party does not do anything, uh, not back. even lift it, uh, hmm. lift it little finger hmm. to recover back this money. Any hmm. prudent man after giving 90 crores would at least file some uh, liquidation or, or press for recovery of this money. Yeah. So they, they don't do this and allow uh, the whole thing to fall apart and, and write the 90 crores in their books of accounts. Hmm. The third uh, leg of this conspiracy is for writing of this loan, for waiving of the recovery. Right, yeah. The Congress Party tells Associated Journal mm. that you give 90 crores worth of shares in your company mm. to a company called Young India. Young India, yeah. Okay. Mm. And Young India, who is Young India? Young India is owned by Madam Sonia Gandhi and Rahul Gandhi to the extent of 76%. Six, percent. Each yeah. one owns 39% shares. Yeah. Mm. And Oscar Fernandez and Mr. Uh, Mutilal Vora own the balance 24% uh, of shares. Okay. So it is, and look at the whole uh, conspiracy now. There is a Congress party where Madam Sonia Gandhi was the president, Mr. Rahul Gandhi is the vice president, Motilal Ura is the treasurer, Oscar Fernandez is one of the secretaries. They come and give a loan to a company, Associated Journal, where Mr. Motilal Ura is the chairman. Okay. And in Young India, all hmm. the four are directors. Hmm. So so it is, it is almost that there is no need to even prove the conspiracy. Hmm. It is almost well established that all the three are one and the same. Hmm. And to put it in a very... Uh, uh, you know, very uh, in, a, in a nutshell, mm -hmm. uh, the Congress Party tells Associated Journal, the Motilal Ura, the treasurer of uh, Congress Party, tells uh, the director of uh, uh, Associated Journal, Motilal Ura, mm -hmm. Mr. Motilal Ura, I have given you 90 crores, yeah. but you don't pay me the 90 crores. Yeah. Yeah. Then, uh, then Motilal Ura and uh, Sonia Gandhi of uh, Young India mm -hmm. go and tell uh, Motilal Ura of Associated Journal, mm -hmm. look, Mr. Motilal Ura, you have not paid 90 crores to Congress party. Please give us 90 crores shares because mm -hmm. anyhow you have to pay this money. Mm -hmm. And so in a tripartite agreement, 90 crores of shares uh, are uh, issued to uh, Young India. Mm -hmm. And what is the stunning thing is mm -hmm. the... Associated Journal prior to this transaction had a paid-up capital of around a crore. Yeah. Post this issue, hmm. the paid-up capital comes to 91 crores. 91. And of which 90 crores is held by Associated Journal. Hmm. Of Associated Journal is held by Young India. Young India. So and Young India becomes the holding company, 99% holding company of Associated Journal. 
and 76% of young india is held by yes. the mother son combination for that matter of fact that 90 crore has come from congress party to exactly. associate general so exactly. it's, it's and you lift the corporate wheel hmm. on all the transaction mm-hmm. then you will find that actually 90 crores hmm. has been routed from congress party it leverages through the transactions the books of accounts of associated journal hmm. and ends up as shares of uh, uh, young india hmm. which is controlled by the mother and son hmm. who are the beneficiaries of this transaction hmm. and had somebody stolen 90 crores from say congress party's kitty hmm. you would have been hauled by the police right but yeah. this transaction may, may know uh, has a cloak of uh, respectability just because there are resolutions passed there are shares being issued people being taken into confidence on resolutions mm. each leg of the transaction has been done intra wires the companies act that that it has been done intra wires the companies act is not mm. the issue mm. but the sum total of the transaction is definitely a breach of trust because when i pay 10 rupees to the congress party mm. as a donor mm. i expected the congress party to use that money for political purposes yeah but okay. this now, is the most they, dis- they had no business to give it as a loan mm. and when this land was given to associated journal by the government of india way back in the 30s mm. they expected it to run this land for uh, use this land for a specific purpose i e run national herald hmm. now what do you find that there is no national herald mr yeah. rahul gandhi is on record hmm. stating that we are not going to revive the paper hmm. and today we have some passport kendra in that building that yeah. building is rented out yeah. and rents are being collected by associated journal hmm. and implicitly or explicitly the owners of that rental money is, is young india yeah. which is again controlled by the mother the gandhis yeah. so it is a well woven conspiracy if you see and the most disappointing fact is that so much of the public funds is misutilized mm. and now when we know first you giving off an illegal unsecured loan of 90 crores now this comes down to a fact that the already uh, tainted congress has one more legal battle to fight but it is very clear that it is already lost right because the evidence have really clear see uh, at this point in time uh, the, uh, if you look at the order of uh, the magistrate hmm. it makes it clear that there is a prima facie case hmm. to summon the accused hmm accused and yeah. ask them hmm. whether there is anything illegal hmm and then she would go ahead with the trial hmm so for her that it is at this point in time it is not whether it is an open and shut case that may be in the eye of the beholder hmm. for dr swami it may be an open and shut case hmm. but what the learned magistrate has said in her order 20 page order very detailed and very very beautifully written hmm. she brings about the fact that here is a case where dr swami has got certain documents from the public domain yeah authenticated by the uh, registrar of companies officials hmm. and having produced all these documents she finds there is a prima facie case to call and summon these accused to her court and make the, uh, ask them to make the necessary statement hmm. so at this point in time they are they are just accused no no finality has been reached hmm. but at this point in time definitely the trigger hmm. has been set in motion and the ball has been set rolling we will be seeing the evidence is getting cleared and the final results very soon but you know in march 2014 mr subramanian swami so spoke to nwr live and he very clearly mentioned that the media does not play a very rigorously uh, effic- effective efficient role in taking note of the situation because when when it is about touching uh, uh, the territory of mrs sonia gandhi and rahul gandhi it is something that they don't do rigorously because that's why these things do not come out in open what mr swami has said is only the obvious mm. um, several of the topmost uh, journalists in this country are uh, paid uh, uh, journalists and mm. they are in the uh, payroll of uh, the congress party and definitely of the dynasty mm. in fact uh, had this been not involving uh, mrs sonia gandhi and mr rahul gandhi had it been say of say any any other political party mm. i am sure the mainstream media guys would have gone and hounded them and said that look they have not made a statement mm. till now we don't hear any statement from both the mother and son mm. we have not got any statement from these people mm. the point i'm trying to emphasize is no media wants to touch mm. 
मच लेस क्वेश्चन मच लेस नीडल द गांधी नेहरू परिवार सो दिस इज द स्टेट ऑफ अफेयर्स इन दिस कंट्री इट्स अ वेरी डिप्लोरेबल स्टेट अनफॉर्चुनेटली वी हैव ऑल दिस मेन स्ट्रीम मीडिया गाइज हु हैव बीन बार्किंग on every single small event and trying to you know make it as if it's a huge scam here is a scam that has been cognized by the court the court says there is a prima facie evidence for them to come and give their own version of the story hmm. but yet today we don't find the media hounding the gandhi nehru family this is this is really shocking indeed it is and and when we have all the evidence very clear in front of us and the prima facie evidence against uh the gandhi is now given by the delhi court to someone is out there we yeah. have to wait and watch and see what happens in the hearing of this case particularly how these these very clear evidences which make the gandhi is accused of mismanaging the public funds Absolutely. in in uh, in a controversial manner come out thank you so much mr venkatesh for talking to nwr live thank you thank thanks you. sir So that was Mr Venkatesh Ramachandran chartered accountant and economic columnist speaking to NWR live and saying that the case filed by Mr Subramanian Swami that accuses the Gandhis of cheating and criminal breach of trust who claims uh, that the Gandhis broke the law to grab valuable properties in Delhi including the office of National Herald facing embarrassment in the National Herald case now the congress is preparing for a legal battle which according to Mr Venkatesh is very clear in forms of evidence because the metropolitan magistrate Gomati Manocha has said that the prima facie evidence are all against the accused and uh, the court has directed them to appear before 8 August 7th